Dottotech is on the air. And today's show is all about the air. Apple's MacBook Air, to be exact. We're going to look at all the things that we can do with a computer that won't be tied down. Apple's got a history of presenting new ideas to us, taking old concepts and turning them on their ear, and then offering them to us in a new way. The MacBook Air is the latest example of Apple's Rethink Universe. It is only three pounds. It is paper thin, but it still has a full 13.3 inch screen and a full sized keyboard. In fact, the working area on this notebook is the exact same as is on my MacBook. The screen has a resolution of 1280 by 800. It's a backlit LED display. It's bright, energy efficient, plus for the environmentally conscious amongst us, this display is mercury and arsenic free. And the air is designed to work in an instant, so the screen comes on at full brightness the second that you open it up. Now the full-size keyboard here has got a bunch of nice touches built in as well. It's got backlit keys so you can easily work in low light conditions like when you're flying or taking notes in a dark presentation theater. And the touchpad here is larger than normal and it's a complete rethink as well. It borrows from the very popular interface used in the iPod Touch and the iPhone. It's called Multi-Touch and it allows for gesture-based input. So let me show you how that works. I'm just going to open up, oh, I'm going to open up iPhoto and show you really quickly how the multi-touch screen works. If I open a photo and go into the edit mode, I can then take my finger and I can pinch on the photograph to zoom in and zoom out just like that. So it gives me great control over the photo. And so I'm just basically pinching and opening and closing to zoom in and out. And if I want to rotate the photo, I just put my finger down again and I turn the photo and I can turn it sideways and rotate. This is a really creative use of the touch pad. Now let's talk a little bit about the outside of the computer. On this side here, we have the MagSafe power adapter. This allows us to connect the power supply to the notebook through a magnetic interface. This is a classic Macintosh technology that they use in all of their latest notebooks and it protects the notebook from accidentally being knocked off a desk by somebody kicking the power supply as they walk away because the power supply will just magnetically unlatch. Now on the other side of the notebook, we have this little hatch here which has all of our different input ports. Now, there's not too many ports. We have a DVI port which allows us to connect the air to an external monitor or perhaps a projector. We have a USB port that allows us to connect digital cameras, other peripherals, maybe other storage devices like an external hard drive, an external CD drive, or other magnetic storage. And we have a headphone jack for either headphones or speakers. But now let's talk a little bit about what's under the hood. Because the air is available with either a normal hard drive or with a solid state drive. Now, solid state drives are very exciting technology. It basically means all of your files, your documents, your applications, they all live in a solid state storage device as opposed to magnetic spinning media of traditional drives. And what does that represent? Speed. In our traditional computer world with a normal hard drive, you've got all of your current files, your applications, and your operating system all living in, in RAM. Everything current lives there. Your desktop is there, you work with it. But then when you go to save a file or open a new one, then the operating system has to look to the hard drive for that new file or resource. It either writes the information that you're saving currently in RAM onto the hard drive to save it or copies it from the drive. The drive itself is limited by how fast the computer can write information onto or copy it off of that rapidly spinning disk. Ah, now with a solid state drive, your files and applications and resources are all stored in media that's the same as RAM. It's accessed instantly. No longer are you limited by the seek times or the transfer of data from long-term storage of magnetic media up into your RAM. Oh, by the way, speaking of RAM, the Air has two gigabytes worth of RAM. But back to solid state storage. The process is fast. I mean, really fast. For you and I, that translates into productivity. Watch and be amazed. Shh, my computer is asleep right now. Now you know when you open your notebook that quite often it takes a little bit of time for it to wake up and for you to be able to work. This computer is in sleep mode. Watch what happens. I'm gonna open the case. Screen comes on almost instantly and I can work with it. Look, I'm gonna close down iPhoto and there is no startup time because everything is there in a heartbeat. Now watch how quickly an application launches. I'm gonna open iPhoto for you again. And here we open iPhoto and it's open again in a heartbeat. Now, solid state drives are also much sturdier than regular hard drives. They're nowhere near as sensitive to bumps and jolts because there's no moving parts to disrupt. Now, it's going to take a while for solid state drives to really catch on in a big way because they're still fairly expensive, but my, oh my, I like them. I like them a lot. Now, one other thing we notice with solid state, it's silent, absolutely silent because there's no moving parts. 
Now, other hardware features on the Air include Apple's legendary EyeSight camera, which we've shown you a lot in the past. But what's missing from the Air, of course, is an optical drive, which a lot of people question. So you want to wonder if it's easy to live without an optical drive like a DVD or CD drive in today's world. Well, I'm going to tell you from personal experience, I haven't had one on my main PC notebook for over a year. And to be honest, I don't miss it. If you want a media computer to play lots of DVDs and replace your TV as an entertainment center, then the Air is probably not going to be the best choice for you. It's not designed for that. The classic MacBook is going to do those people very nicely. The Air is all about portability. It's about productivity, and it is about style. It's super lightweight, long battery life. Connectivity is all wireless, and that's what we're going to look at coming up next.